Namaste. How's it going? For this round, let me talk about the Teng Shou Bells yeah. and teach you how to breathe and make your technique more stable and how to meditate upon the various sounds they emit. I've given the basics of this in the past, so if you have time, have a look at that lesson so you can appreciate the technique. All right, so there are various you know, sizes of the Teng Shou Bells. Uncommon are the large ones, such as uh, what I have here, a pair of three and a half inches in diameter, and they produce long, rich, vibration yeah, and they last longer yeah. so before touching them again we need to wait so maybe wait two or even three mindful breathing cycles before touching them again all right so we are actually meditating yeah, the residual sound the tail of the sound not the initial sound itself the initial sounds they produce it's just like the guide so we need to follow all the way to the finish yeah because the tail of the sound is actually similar to the nada our brain emits during deep absorption and the various centers in the body as well all right so wait all right now how to breathe yeah you don't breathe directly through the bells. Rather, what I do is I will take this mindful breath in. Exhale. Exhale is important. Relax. Touch. Inhale. Look away. Exhale. You may move the bells to the other direction and look to the opposite side. Good. Touch again. You might circle them around as you breathe yeah, and listen. Follow the residual sound. I can't em overemphasize that. It's not the initial sounds. It's the tail of the sound that we follow. All right. So the larger ones are actually more forgiving. Even if you accidentally touch them hard, the sounds they emit are still pleasing because they emit a lower vibration. The smaller ones, such as this, these are the most common, three inches in diameter, or smaller ones, such as two and a half, you need to touch them more gently. Yeah. Although the intervals are not as long, yeah, the technique should be much gentle. And the sound they produce yeah, should remain quiet yeah, because the frequency they emit is generally higher. Yeah. The quieter the sound they produce, the more penetrating they get inside the brain. All right, so you may chant sometimes, I would do that. Yeah, breathing in. Touch. Sandiram. And I'll breathe again. Exhale. Or you may chant a more general mantra, the Om. Inhaling. Om. Aside from the subtle tail of the sound, you also focus on the vibration of the brain yeah, uh, because of your chanting. All right, last, yeah, the technique, and this is important. Okay, now, you want your technique stable. The way I do it, I will clip the string between my middle finger and my index, and I will use my thumb to further stabilize the bell. And if you notice, I'm not hanging them so loosely. Rather, I want to keep my hand close to the metal, barely touching. So this is small gap, all right? And then I'm just using my dominant you know, side you know, and touching the other one. I'm not moving them together, yeah, all at once. Just one side, just one bell, just one hand. But then and even then, yeah, I'm just using actually my fingers, yeah, 
I would do this, yeah, like you're holding a chopstick, yeah, and moving that bell. You're not swinging the arms. Yeah, so very distinctive, yeah, precise. Good. If accidentally you hit them hot, you may circle them around. You may sway them side to side as well. Beautiful. All right. So the Teng bells and the other external tools for meditation are just adjunctive instruments, a ways for us to experience the superficial yeah, presence of the inner sounds. I cannot overemphasize that. The vibration, the sound we produce, we harness when we do the asana, pranayama, kumbhaka, mudras, the bandhas, the silence and the stillness when you meditate, they are many times more potent than these external tools. Enjoy the practice. So if you don't have them, no worries. I started nothing. I didn't even know about them. But I enjoy what I was doing, yeah, I grow it until they become me and I become them. And then when you understand the essence of the things you enjoy doing, that will stand the test of time. I'll see you in the next one and take care. Master.